dumb social studies project. I know, we can't find any information on our president. Guys, we can do this, it's easy. Oh, um, which one is it? What do you mean? There's uh, over 3,000 results. You should pick the we should have picked a more popular president. I just want to watch TV. Fine. Well, what do we do? Let's go through all the William Harrisons, all 3,000. Few moments later. 100 down, still over 3,000 to go. Good news, we'll be able to turn this in by the time we're in the ninth grade. We're getting nowhere. Six and a half hours later. Oh god, oh no, oh no. Guys, guys, wake up, wake up. We gotta finish the project. It's due today. Fell asleep. Get up. Up, 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 up. Oh no, no, no. Mama, five more minutes. A more minutes, Mama. Uh, okay, okay. Um, no, Grace, not five more minutes. Up, 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 up. Hi, guys. What's the motion jack in this room? Watch your language, young lady. Now, children, there's no need to fret. Oh god, it's coming for me. I am here... Oh god, this is the end! ...to help. What do you want, my thighs? To help with your pre president's project. Who even are you? I'm William Henry Harrison. You died like five million years ago. Not quite, but correct, I did die. I'm a ghost. <laughs> Wait, guys, I'm just... I'm Ethan! Project! I'm not getting anywhere. That's it. You guys are coming with me. Ah, I'm no. gonna be so oh, where are we? Um, it would seem we have been teleported somewhere. Where's Harrison? I don't know. Hey guys! Ah! Shush, 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 shush. Keep it down. This is when I was born, West Virginia, 1773. We teleported to up to West Virginia in almost 250 years from the present day. Actually, to you, the present is 1773, as of right now. <sighs> Anyways, this is where I grew up. Fun fact, I originally studied to become a doctor, but that never really worked out. Before I was a congressman, I served in the Army, which transitions to our next topic pretty well. What are you talking about? What I mean is while I was in the military, I, felt se I fought several battles and won a lot of them. And I also met my wife there in 1795. Her name's Anna Harrison. Strange circumstances to meet your wife. Shh. Anyway, me and my wife had 10, ch ten children, some adult adopted. Anyways, I've shown you guys all I wanted to show you here. Time to go to the next location. What? <laughs> Where are we now? What's that? It's the house of William Henry Harrison. Whoa. <laughs> Speaking of him, where is he? Ethan, wait up. Where's Harrison? It is his house. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome to my house. Do you mind if I give you a tour? This is my house in Vincennes, Indiana. I moved here in 1800 with my wife and children. We originally lived at the military base. However, I believe that the base wasn't the best place for our family to grow. So we moved here.
where are we now? It's down here. Looks like something's going on in there. Let's There's see if people. she's in there. Ooh, I see a present. So, my name is Van Buren, and these are the reasons that I should be re-elected as president this year. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Jan Buren. Very good election campaign. Now, next person to the stand has to be, right, William Henry Harrison. Please come to the stage. Ooh, ooh, yeah, you got this. Hello, everyone. Harrison here, or Old Tip of Canoe, as some of you like to call me. I am joined today by my running vice president, John Tyler, who John will be Tyler. assisting me, who will be assisting me with my election. So, I've been asked the question lately, what do I want to accomplish while I'm president? Well, I'm wanting to completely abolish slavery. I will strongly believe that with John Tyler and I, that we will be able to complete this task. We Whigs believe that anything is possible and that anything can happen. This is William Henry Harrison saying Tippecanoe and Tyler too. Thank you very much. Woo! William Henry Harrison! Go! Woo! Why did he say Tippecanoe and Tyler too? Because he's illiterate. illiterate. Do you mean because of alliteration? Do you have a dictionary? Not on me. Why would I carry a dictionary on me? He's your dictionary. <laughs> so, I heard you guys' question. The reason I say Tippecanoe and Tyler too as my slogan is because I fought in the Battle of Tippecanoe against the Native Americans. And lost? And won. And then of course John Tyler is my vice president in running. Alright guys, let's head to the next spot. Yeah, <gasps> you. Come on, Ethan. Everybody ready? Yep. I'm gonna puke. Too bad. Three, two, one. Where did he take us now? I don't feel good. Oh, no. Stop. Kate, don't. <laughs> oh, no. Fine, let's just follow the hill. Up, up, and beyond. Hopefully, it takes us somewhere useful. <laughs> We're freezing oh. out here. This is good for our jackets. I know what day it is. What day is it? It's Harrison's inauguration. The day he didn't wear a jacket to his inauguration, got pneumonia. That's unpleasant. It is. Correct! Ah! Can you please stop scaring us? No. <sighs> so, anyway, I brought you guys back to this day because it's the day that I regret the most. The fact that I did not wear a jacket. You kids are about to find out why I should have worn my jacket that day. Eh, it's not that cold out today. I don't need a jacket. I can take that for you. Thank you very much. Now it is time to start my 85 page speech that will soon become the longest inauguration speech in history. 85 pages? I can't stay here that long, I'll die! Upon another occasion I have given my opinion at some length upon the improperty of executive interference in the legislation of Congress that the article in the Constitution making it the duty of the President to communicate information and authorizing him to recommend measures was not intended to make him. You know, this is pretty interesting, actually. Don't you think? Oh. <laughs> Where are we? Oh. We're in 1841, in the White House. Why did you bring us here, Harrison? Well, I noticed on your grading rubric, rubric, you had to have some information about what was going on in the U.S. during my presidency. So what's going on? Well, during my presidency, I wrote the bill to abolish slavery. However, the bill was not actually carried out until Abraham Lincoln decided 
to carry out the law. Is that all? Well, I was only president for 31 days. However, that wasn't all. The Supreme Court ruled that the slave Moulton years who took the vessel Amistad in 1839 had the right to return to Africa. All right, time for the next location. What if I don't want to go? Yeah. Ugh. Where are we now? I don't know. It kind of looks like the White House. It does look like the White House. I wouldn't know. I never went to D.C. Ooh, doctor's office. Maybe something's going on in there. We should go in. He's going to make it. Oh, I'm sure he'll pull through. I know he's going to die. <laughs> he's, actually, he's actually been dead for a while, so I'm just going to... Where is he? Someone call the police. Someone call the police. A phone didn't exist yet. Oh, oh, the police. oh, oh no. Oh, 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 this is too weird for me. Okay. You're yeah. dead. Sort of. But not really. Fun. I just watched you die. Oh. Okay. This is from 1841. This is whenever I died from pneumonia. Makes sense. Fun fact. My last words were, I wish for the principles of the government to be understood. I wish for them to be carried out. That is all I ask. It's pretty neat last words. Ethan, did you have a good dream? I had I a crazy know. dream. I don't know if you classify being kidnapped for time a good dream. But... That's the dream that I had. Caden? Caden? Uh did you have a dream about being kidnapped by William Henry Harrison and being taken through time? No, I just had a dream about being kidnapped by some president. Oh. We should probably check if that information is true. Yeah. Ah, whole 3,000 results thing. Got a lot of them. never getting this project in time. What do you mean? We have all the information now. From a dream? Dreams are very reliable. Oh. Change, our clothes literally changed throughout the dream. New year, new clothes. That's ah! Where did you guys get 3,000 and something? William Henry Harrison. Wikipedia. Wikipedia. I feel like it's kind of unresponsible. I feel like our teacher did say not to use Wikipedia. 